Hey guys, so here's another video on the Helifar Turtles 135. This is a 3 inch micro, and I did a, re a review video on this uh, a few weeks ago. I put a card in the corner for the original review if you want to watch that. We have a bunch of modifications to this, and I just wanted to uh, show you the things I changed, and then I'll show you how it flies. Uh, basically, I swapped out the motors, a camera, and then the configuration so that I can go to a top mounted battery versus before it was a bottom mounted battery. And I think that it flies a lot better as a top mounted battery setup. Um, I also switched the connector from a uh, XT60 to an XT30. And then I'm using this small battery here. This is a Pulse uh, 450 milliamp hour 3S LiPo. And the motors I'm using here are, are the LDRC. Um, these are 1304 6200 kV motors. Uh, I've had these for a little while. I've been waiting for something to put this on. And I've uh, got these Gemfan tri-blade uh, 3035 props. Pretty good props for this setup here. Now, uh, I, you, I did try this on 4S, and I think that uh, you could do it. I was running a Tattoo 454S, if you're wondering, and it just barely fit on top of here. Uh, but the motors were got pretty warm, so I don't think that it would be advisable to uh, stick with 4S on here, although I think that the setup can probably handle it. Um, I think that's the, the KV is a little bit too high. If you guys want to do 4S on a 1304 motor, I would recommend getting the uh, RCX 1304 5000 KV motor instead on using the same prop. And I think 4S shouldn't be any issue at all. I think that you could do 4S if you really tuned it perfectly, but you know that's something that could be difficult to do. And then if you bend a prop or some sort of issue happens, you could easily smoke a motor. So I wouldn't advise it unless you. Uh, don't mind burning out a motor, which could be possible in forest, but a forest, this thing is an absolute monster. And you know, the, the motor that's on here before was like a 1306, uh, 3100 kV, so I'm going to a 1304, uh, 6200 kV, so double the kV on 3S, and before I was on 3100 kV on 4S, and on, I can tell you that on 3S it is much, much faster on 3S on this higher KV motor on this setup here because it's not only the, um, the KV is higher but the uh, actual setup, the motors are lighter, the, everything here is lighter than it was before so it just flies a lot better, I got more power, I got more flight time on even a smaller battery. I was flying with a 650 4S on the bottom and I was not getting as much flight time, I was getting it with a 450 3S. So, you can uh, watch the previous video. You could you could uh, make the determination yourself. Um, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much all the changes. I made. Oh yeah, I forgot about the camera. Uh, there was a micro sparrow in here before, and so I put a micro eagle in instead. And I think that you know obviously you still got pretty good camera protection. Still fits in pretty good. And I like the image on the micro eagle better than the micro sparrow. I think a lot of people don't like the micro sparrow, the original one. So. Just wanted to try that on here, and it fits in perfectly if you're wondering about that. And I don't believe the side rails uh, show up in the video at all. Okay, so here's a weight measurement of it now uh, without the battery. I took the battery off. Coming in at 105. I don't remember what it weighed before. Uh, you can check the older video. Pretty sure it weighed something like around 120, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe more. 130. Check the other video. You can find out. It definitely weighs a lot less than it did before. Yeah, so anyway, if you want to duplicate the setup, you obviously could buy the turtles and then swap out the motors and camera. But of course, you know, then what are you going to do with the motors and camera, right? So you could just buy the frame. The frame is $14, and then you just can buy the motors, the camera, and then a stack. And then pretty much any 20 by 20 stack will, will work as long as you it's around 20 amps. I believe it's a 20 amp stack in there. Um, that's pretty much all you need. So I'll put some parts in the description. You guys can mix and match as you please. Obviously... Uh, you could go with some different motors. I think that the, if you want to do force, go with the uh, 5000 kV. I think you'll be pretty happy with that. So, But if you find with 3S, then the 6200 kV will be plenty of speed for your most of your normal areas that you want to fly. And even in a park, it's going to be pretty fast on these 3 inch props. Anyway, guys, I'll show you some flight demo footage. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.